What's up, YouTube? It is your boy JB, and we are here today with the review for Baddies ATL Season 1, Episode 6. The episode is titled Even Baddies Need a Break. Hell, even I need a break with this crap. Ugh. This show got a lot going on with it. I will definitely say that the show has a lot going on. But, um, you guys, before we get into the review, if you guys are watching this video, or anything else on the channel, if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, then do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell button, and then let's go ahead and get into the review without further ado. All right, you guys, so this episode, we literally pick up where the last one left off. You guys remember Sarah and Seven had to fight with each other, right? Well, you guys remember on Bad Girls Club Season 11, when Sarah would have a fight with the girls, she would always talk about the girls would grab her real hair, right? Well, Sarah is, she's still sticking to that. She's going off about the girls grabbing, her, you know, Sarah is going off about seven grabbing her hair. And I'm just like, oh my God, Sarah, shut up. Like, is this what you're going to argue? Is this what you're going to do the whole entire episode? Is just complain about the fact that seven grabbed your hair. Security was holding you, da, 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 da. <clears throat> so then Sarah says that this happened to her because she's white. So now she wants to go and find Seven. I'm like, this happened to you because you're white. No, this happened to you because you won't shut your damn mouth up. Like, that's the issue. Whenever anybody is speaking about a situation that they're dealing with, you want to chime in and somehow relate the conversation to yourself. That's the issue, Sarah. Not the fact that you are a white woman. It's the fact that you... Like, when Sydney was talking about her issues... Christina was talking about her issues. You chimed in talking about the fact that people tell you to be quiet. That had nothing to do with you. Stay out of it. And then with this situation with Seven, Seven was telling how she felt, you know, she needed to go home just for her own mental, you know, her mental health. But then again, like I said, you chimed into a situation that had nothing to do with you. So that's the issue. It has nothing to do with you being white. It's the fact that you just don't shut the hell up. So then, in this episode, I'm only going to agree with Sydney one time in this episode. Sydney told Sarah that she should have expected that when Seven walked up on her. I mean, like, exactly. You literally should have expected her to beat your ass. Like, what, what do you think she's going to do? Come up to you and give you a hug? Like, Sarah is ridiculous. So then Sarah is telling Natalie that Seven needs to go home. And, they tell, and she tells Sydney to be quiet, but it's, I mean, facts are facts. Mm. So then Sarah wants to pull another Bad Girls Club moment. So what she wants to do is she wants to go to Seven's room and pack up Seven's stuff so she can go home. And we all know how they used to go on Bad Girls Club when people would go to the girls' rooms and pack up their stuff. They would end up fighting. So that's what you want is to get your ass beat behind touching her stuff Sarah sit down so yeah so at this point you know since Tanisha and Natalie are the EPs Sarah wants for the EPs to send Seven home it's just like girl once again shut up like you should have just minded your business alright guys so I'm gonna pause here and we're gonna move forward alright guys so you guys know how a minute ago I was on Sydney's side about telling Sarah that she should have expected, you know, to get beat up by Seven. Well, Sydney then she does way too much. So Tanisha was trying to leave, trying to leave. I don't know if Tanisha was trying to leave the house or what, but Sydney just kept falling in behind Tanisha, telling her you need to stay, you need to stay, you need to stay, you need to stay. And Tanisha was like, Sydney, chill. Let me catch a break. Let me, let me, you know, breathe for a minute. But. <clears throat> you know, Sydney was ha hassling her. So, <coughs> <coughs> my bad, y'all. Um, so, here's something that was confusing to me. So, Natalie was trying to talk to Seven, right? Then Sydney goes to look for Judy. Talking about she gonna go fuck with Judy. I'm like, why are you gonna go fuck with Judy? Judy ain't done shit to you that I know that we know of. Judy ain't done shit to you. So Sydney went to her and Judy's room. She has an issue with Judy because she said that Judy had locked her out of their room for 30 minutes the night prior. 
if you had such a big issue with it, why didn't you address Judy? See, Sydney turns up for the cameras. That's really what it is with Sydney. She turns up for the cameras. Because then, you know, she and she and um, she and Judy go at it with each other. Now, as much as I don't like Judy misgendering her, why do you keep talking about Judy has a dick? Like, why do you keep talking about Judy has a dick? <laughs> it's stupid. Like, it makes no sense to me. Like, it makes absolutely no sense. You talking about she got a dick. Like, girl. So then Sydney goes around telling the girls, y'all won. The transgen y'all got the transgender girl out. I'm going home. I'm like, please do us a favor and go home. Sarah. Sarah is annoying as hell. So Natalie was trying to have a conversation with Seven, right? Seven did say that, you know, she didn't want to go she didn't want to do that. She didn't really want to put her hands on Sarah, but it happened. <clears throat> so, like I said, Natalie, she was trying to have the conversation before she could. Sarah just, <coughs> my bad, y'all. Once again, I don't know if I have a cold or what, or if it's just my allergies. But yeah, while Natalie was trying to have the con ooh, and then I burped in y'all face, my bad. So while Natalie was having a conversation with Seven and Janelle was in the room, Sarah comes. I'm like, Sarah, shut up. Like, shut up, Sarah. <laughs> Sarah is so annoying. So fucking annoying. And then Seven, I believe Seven went and kicked the door closed. I thought that's what I saw when she kicked the door closed. It's just like, God. Like, I really wish that Sarah would have shut up. So I'm going to pause here and we're going to move forward. All right, you guys. So I'm actually at the end of my notes. What I will say, because I'm going to talk about some stuff that I didn't put in the notes. So you guys remember, I was just telling you that Sydney was going around telling the girls that she's going to go home, right? Well, Tanisha went and had this long, drawn out ass conversation with Sydney. Talking about Sydney, we picked you. Like, we picked you to be here. We want you to be here. We want you to be here to be a representation for the LGBT plus community. She's a terrible representation. <clears throat> Just me being honest. And again, with the show, it has no premise. So I don't know what positive light, negative light. I don't know what kind of light she's shedding onto the LGBTQ plus community. The one thing I will say about this show, the acting with these girls, it's a lot. It's a whole lot. And it's not good acting on top. It's not even good acting. It's over the top. So, Sarah. Sarah was having a conversation with Natalie and Christina, right? So, Natalie was trying to tell Sarah that, you know, maybe you should go and apologize to Seven. Now, although Sarah does annoy the hell out of me, I didn't understand what Natalie meant by... And she's like, well, you know, I'm an EP... You're a producer. Christina's a producer. Tanisha's an EP. Like, when me and Christina fought, Christina fought an EP. We made up with each other, and it's all good. Now, am I, you know, am I best friends with her? No. You know, and me and Christina were tight. Actually, like the Victor Twins said, it's the acting for me. It is literally the acting for me. So, I guess Sarah, I didn't know Sarah had a skincare business. And she, she does workouts. I wouldn't take any advice from her about skincare, makeup, or workout. Just being honest with you guys. That's, that's just me being real. But yeah, it was a lot in this episode. I was tired. But that is it for Baddies ATL. Let me know what you guys thought about the episode. Please leave your comments in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop anything else. And share the video. And until the next one, you guys, stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. Wash your hands, wear your mask or not. Whichever one you guys do, be safe, be blessed. Socially distance, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.